Hi, my name's Elizabeth Conti. I am 23 years old. I am a makeup artist currently working at Mecca and I freelance on the side. I think this started as a hobby, definitely before I got my qualification. I put a lot of money and I put a lot of time into it. So now it's definitely a business. Um, obviously working at Mecca, that to me is more of a hobby, like selling the makeup um, and then actually working with people on the weekends and, you know, brides and that kind of thing. That's, that's my business. I think it is very difficult in this, in this time that we're in at the moment to grow your clients. Everybody's a makeup artist these days. So it can be very difficult to distinguish yourself from, you know, people who are just claiming that they're artists. Um, so I guess with me, I make sure that every, you know, client that I'm with or every person whose makeup I'm doing, I build that like one-on-one -on -one connection with them that then they're like, this is it. I'm going to go back to her every single time. Um, and then they tell their friends and that's kind of, you know, how I want to grow my business. My family is very supportive of me doing this. I think my mum especially, I think my dad and my brother have no idea what's going on with it. They really don't get it, which I think is like all guys, they have no idea. So my mum has probably been my biggest supporter from the day that I came in and was like, not going to uni anymore, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, she was like, if that's what you wanna do, go for it. I think what made me realize university wasn't for me um, is probably even just like first day of going, you know, you finish year 12 and then you're like, gotta to go to uni. Everyone's like, you're going to uni? So I went, first day in there I was like, not the biggest fan of this. Um, and I did, I tried three separate courses. So I, I gave it a good, a good go. Um, very different to what I'm doing now. I started with criminal justice um, and that didn't work out and went into social work. And I still remember sitting in class and my, I was wearing a like Michael Kors watch and my lecturer said, you can't wear that to class. And I was like, why not? And she's like, you'll never have nice things as a social worker. And I was like, I'm out. Like, I love nice things. I like my makeup. And she was like, you can't have that life. And then I was like, sorry, this is, I'm done. No more uni for me. <laughs> so I think one of the best like parts of the job is that everything is always so different. So obviously there's, you know, one-on-one -on -one formal makeup, bridal makeup, that kind of thing. Um, I've also been lucky enough to work on a handful of photo shoots, which are probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, they're amazing. They tend to go for a day, day or two, depending on what you're shooting. Um, and you really get to know the team that you're working with. So I love that kind of thing. Um, I've also worked on a couple of films, um, just, you know, low Victorian ones, nothing crazy. Um, doing assisting work for special effects, which I love. So, you know, blood and guts and all that kind of stuff. It's really fun. Um, not as glamorous as people think. It's a lot of sitting around. It's a lot of watching people say the same thing over and over again. I've never really been into makeup, not even when I was younger. I probably started wearing makeup when I was 18. I think this all started when I first went to uni um, and I hated it. And I was watching like YouTube tutorials on the internet all the time, even when I was supposed to be in class, that's what I was doing. And I think that's what got me into it. Um, and it's funny now looking back, my mum said she bought like a little wooden makeup set when I was, I don't know, like three or four. And I took it to um, kinder and I made everyone, boys, everybody sit down in a row. And I was like putting makeup on them. And I was like, why didn't you tell me that before? Because now I would have known and I wouldn't have gone through all those stupid years of uni. I would have just gone straight into it. <laughs> I was watching a lot of stuff on the internet, but like, that's not enough. You need to go out and like, I wanted to get a degree. So I went to the Academy of Makeup on Chapel Street. Um, and that's where I learned everything that I now know. I mean, I'm obviously learning on the job constantly. Um, there's only so much that they can teach you, but definitely having that foundation is essential to be a makeup artist these days. So, in the future, I would hope that it takes over, like my freelance takes over and that's all that I'm doing. Um, whether that be photo shoots, you know, working with people, that kind of thing. Um, and then that 
you know, Mecca sort of fades off and that's, I don't have to rely on that as my source of income that I can rely on my freelance as my main source. Mm -hmm. 